It is May 16th, I believe, 2013. These are the oxalotls. And um, they've been breeding since I last posted. Got quite a bit bigger. Um, I've learned how to um, sex the oxalotls. Looks as if I have, I believe, at this age, one, one male so far, and um, six females, so a total of seven. And uh, right now I'm just at the stages of um, basically trying to keep the temperatures correct. I've got my two different, different temperature readings here, making sure that I can get an accurate reading here. Um, trying to keep it between, uh, 68. And, oops, shouldn't touch those, by the way. These are 68 right now. I'm trying to keep it at a warmer temperature for breeding. Um, also, the smoother stones are helping so that the male, this is the male, <clears throat> will be able to go across these stones where he'll leave his specimen on the stones um, and then the females will go across. They also um, will go into this house, this desert house that I did buy originally and um, they will go in there and then they will um, use that as sort of a breeding box or a nurse, uh, well, whatever you want to say. So to save money, um, you can just go to PetSmart and in the reptile aisle, they have all of these. Um, that's where I got actually all my stuff was at PetSmart. If you're going to set up a oxalotl tank, um, I originally had this tank. It was a 60 gallon set up for fish, um, which I found not as amusing and less interesting, of course, especially considering that these are um, endangered species. So, um, if you are at that stage with your oxalotls in the breeding stages, um, these are just a few things that might help, which would be the cheap uh, house that they can go into to breed, the stones that uh, the male can rub across, and also the plastic plants so that uh, the female can go and lay her eggs in there too. She will do that as well. Um, also something I'd like to point out that was also pretty important, this is a net um, you can find them anywhere. I have a filtration system in here. I do use a whisper jet. And I had to put this in here because when the babies are born, um, they unfortunately can go right through the opening. Um, so the water, as you can see, is still coming out. And yes, it is still being cleaned. If I can zoom in a little closer, you can see that the stuff is going through there and the bubbles are coming down. They are getting their oxygen. So just wanted to update you a little bit um, what's been going on since my last posting on them. And uh, I hope you guys find this helpful. And uh, <laughs> anyway, that's... Uh, That'd be my girl. She is very, um, they're actually pretty bad. They're trying to get up in there, but um, it's pretty secure. So make sure if you are gonna do a net 
which around your uh, filter, they're they're <laughs> they're they're being bad. They're trying to get into this filter, and they are. They're honoring. They like to get into everything that you do. So make sure, and I'll just show you real quick how I tied this down. I I had to really really tie this. It was wrapped and tied and tied some more because yesterday. They got up in here. I don't even know how they did it, but they will get into everything. They're they're awesome, awesome creatures, but they're also extremely smart. He's still trying to, or well, that would be, no, that's the girl. She's trying to figure out how to get in there, and it's driving her nuts. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. If it was helpful, go ahead and subscribe and uh, leave your comments. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks.